Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up a 1.70 Minecraft server without doing any port forwarding or any extra configuration. So let's get started. It's pretty easy actually. So first of all open up your browser and go to Minecraft's website which is minecraft.net and scroll a little bit down to find the changelogs and find 1.17 release changelog here and go a little bit down and as you can see this green text here minecraft server jar click on it and save it to for example the desktop is great is a great location so as you can see it's in there so create a new folder for it for a folder name you can use anything like really and put that file in that folder so open it and as you can see we can't really start it right now uh, the main issue is that 1.70 minecraft was compiled in a newer version of java not in java 8 so we'll need to get a newer version of java yep so i will give you a direct link for it so this is the site i will put it in the description so find your system it's also available for mac linux and also here's the windows x64 installer so just click on it and save it to a desktop and wait until it finishes now you can just open this file click on next next and it should be done in a few seconds yep it's done all right now you can delete it go back to this folder and open up the server jar again and as you can see now we can run it as i told you the main issue is that the 1.17 was compiled in a newer version so we cannot run it with the older version of the of java anyways now you should be able to generate everything and as you can see we got a bunch of files here one of them called server.properties one of them called server.jar which is what we downloaded one of them eula.txt and the log folder so what you're gonna need to do first is open up the eula.txt and change this false value to true and save the file and before starting this file again, create a, a random bat file for it. So start writing the file, as you can see here. So specify an amount of RAM for it. For example, if you want to give two gigabytes to the server, you can write two gig here. Or if you want to give more, but if you have more players or bigger word, whatever, you can give more and you can also specify the maximum amount of RAM uh, I will go with 2 gigs and also use the jar tag here and also the file name which is server.jar and finally no GUI which will prevent another window from opening so we will have only one window open at a time now let's save it to the folder the name should be something dot bat so it doesn't matter what the file name is just make sure that the extension is dot bat and choose the all files file type here click on save and that's it i think it should be able to run yep i think it's running yes it is running all right so wait until it finishes if you have the windows defender alert here just click on allow access anyways it's just preparing your word depending on how fast your computer is it's going to take some time but it should be done in a few seconds all right it's done now before we start it or before we try it actually we need to do some configuration here so let's stop it with the using the stop command no with the stop command so open up the server.properties file i will use notepad plus plus because it is better than the casual notepad what comes with windows anyways 
so what you can modify here a few stuff so for example the view distance in the server it is 10 chunk by default i can change it to 16 the game mode it is survival by default i can change it to creative or hardcore whatever you can block the nether here the server port we can leave it on default it doesn't really matter actually uh, the level name you can change it the MOTD of the server There's just some random text here so you will be able to see it yes you can have the hardcore here the fight list you can ban the PvP or animals the difficulty can be changed also here uh, you can block monster spawning the maximum players I will change to 5 you can block fight on the server and one last thing is online mode what does this mean if you all are using the original minecraft launcher you can leave it on true but if some of you are using the t launcher or any other launchers you should change it to false you know, so that's it i'm just gonna leave it on true let's save this file if you modified anything in it and let's close it now run this round of bad file again and as myself I should be able to connect to the server. So I'm just opening the Minecraft launcher. Yep. It took some time. Anyways, just choose the, choose the version. As you can see I'm still in the snapshot, but in two days you can go with the 1.17 release version. Or by the time you are seeing this video, it's already released. Alright, it's open. So go to multiplayer, another Windows security alert, and write local host here. Alright, as you can see, the server is up. I can connect to it. I will show you in a few seconds how others can connect to it. Right, it's working. As you can see, I hit, block, I can hit blocks, I can hit animals, whatever. Alright, it is working. A little bit laggy here right now. I don't know why. I have like 20 FPS. It is done. Now let's talk about how to host it to other people. So if you want to play with friends or relatives or whatever, with someone who doesn't live in the same household, so they live in a different street or a different city or a different country or a different continent. So we need to use our browser again and search for ng rock, which is which is a piece of software what we are gonna use to host our minecraft server so what you're gonna need to do first is sign up on this website you need to give a username and email i will just use some temporary email that's what i recommend to you don't use your main email i mean you can go with any of these so you can just use any throw away one two three four put the email here and one two three four five six seven eight is a password it doesn't really matter actually so you just need to sign up for an account to use that service all right so click on sign up yep the password didn't work so I'm just gonna use a different one and click on I'm not a robot yeah traffic lights verify sign up signed up redirecting all right so as you can see I am here and as you can see here is a button uh, which says download for Windows so let's click on it and save it to the desktop for example and it doesn't really matter all right so here's this file this is a zip file so you can open it I have 7 zip installed so I can open it with that and extract this ngrock.exe file here all right so put this file into the servers folder that we created and open it so ngrock.exe as you can see it is a command line tool there is no graphical interface here so go back to this uh, folder and use this command which says ngrock house token and a bunch of numbers and characters here paste it here 
enter and as you can see auto token save to your configuration file the last comment that we want to use is ng rack tcp 25565 which is opening the 25565 port for our minecraft server so yep it is online as you can see the session status is online and here is your server address which says 4.tcp.ngrog.io and here's the port number you you can copy it and save it i will show you in a couple of seconds how does this actually work after i was working around the laptop and i realized that it is just not going to work I realized that there is another way which is a virtual machine so I fired up a Windows VM of mine and installed the requirements basically a VPN so I can have a different network from the home network and also the game itself after a lot of time it started and you can see that I'm connected to VPN so I'm in a different network right now and uh, for the first start it crashed after putting it on full screen so yeah it crashed so I restarted it and I will go without full screen and I put the IP in there and I could connect and I could also see in the comment prompt that I am connected to the server no port forwarding nothing it's that really simple the graphics interface was really bad in the game but it doesn't really matter it what matters is that it's working and it's really great anyways that's it thank you so much for watching and hope you guys enjoyed this video if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe for more uploads like the video and see you soon bye bye